Next up, I had no idea what was going on with Stellar because, I mean, the, the price fluctuation was so great. I thought it was just in tandem with the XRP, but uh, there's also always reasons behind uh, price action. So this is what happened. Stellar's uh, had an upgrade and it boosted the prices uh, dramatically. They underwent a public upgrade on November 23rd that was voted in and implemented by its network's validators. Uh, it came with two new features. So protocol 15 includes these features called claimable balances and sponsored reserves that make it easier to build apps on Stellar. That's great. Make it easier for people to build on Stellar, all the different dApps they want to do. Then you'll have a more robust community and people will want to use Stellar and buy Stellar and then the price goes up. Fantastic. So what are these two things? Well, the claimable balances feature introduces a new ledger entry for splitting payments into two different parts. And I was like, well, who cares? What is that all about? It enables independence between sending and receiving accounts, which is necessary to allow efficient and seamless bridging services for fiat and other support digital assets using XLM or Stellar. And then sponsored reserves allow accounts to sponsor each other without surrendering Stellar from their control. The feature also comes with uh, new extensions that will enable recording key information about the sponsorship details or deals. So it just sounds like to me that this is going to make it more uh, better operability, a little bit more easier to use, especially for those developers. So yeah, I can see it. And I don't know if it's if that's the whole reason for the price action, but I'm sure it could definitely help. Last piece is just on this. Uh, network is based on a Proof of stake consensus, which is one of the reasons why I own Stellar. I own Stellar and I own XRP because I don't know which one is going to be uh, the one that is chosen for cross-border payments. So I hedge my bets. And uh, that's why I have both. Now, here's what's next. They did say that uh, Whale Alert is now reporting an increased movement of huge amounts of XLM between exchanges and wallets. And depending on who you believe, uh, it's never a good thing when the whale wallets go to the exchanges because that means a massive sell-off. Other people have told me, oh, but you got to watch out because those whales will do that and they'll trick everybody and they'll think it's going to be a sell-off and it's not and they'll gobble everything up. I'm like, whatever. This is why I don't trade. This is why I don't trade because there's so much manipulation going on. I just don't have time for that. If you're a trader, God bless you. I don't know how you can do it. So I just buy it, set it and forget it and just... That's it. That's my whole strategy. And of course, buy up uh, dips, uh, which works out pretty well usually. All right, so that's it for Stellar. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm excited about the, the project. I think it's going to do great things, but only time will tell. All right, let's move on.